Okay, I have a confession. A few days ago my dad assaulted me and I called the cops. When they came they didn't do anything even though I had bruises all over me. So I asked for the officer's badge number and from his badge number I was able to get his first and last name and I was able to dox him. I got his address, phone number, email, etc. Basically every night I have been giving his number to pedophiles on Omegle and saying that it is mine. I've sent at least 200 plus pedophiles to all three of his phone numbers and I don't regret anything. Anyway ACAB. One time me and my friends snuck out of the house at night and we went to McDonald's. The employee was asking where our dad was. We didn't know what to say so we just said he was waiting in the car then this big muscly guy walked in and the employee asked if he was our dad in and for some reason we said yes. Even though we had no clue who he was, the guy paid for our food. We thanked the man and left but then he followed us out of the restaurant and told us if we didn't come with him he would stab us. We were scared so we just did what he said. We were in the backseat of his truck and we were freaking out. But my friend found a glass bottle in the backseat and smashed it over the man's head. The man fainted and we saw he had a pocket knife on his dashboard so we took it and stabbed him in the arm a few times. We got out of the car and ran back to my friend's house. To this day we haven't told the police and we don't know if the man died. Thank you for your submission. So I- One time my boyfriend came over and we decided to do the dirty. Anyways it was great but his phone was in his pocket when he did it and he accidentally somehow but dialed 911. We were getting down and dirty and everything was going swell until we heard knocks on the door very aggressively. We thought it was the dog making noise outside the door until we heard a man yelling to open the door. We both got dressed really fast, went outside, and saw it was the police. I was scared because I thought they found out that I stole a bathing suit from Target so I started sobbing. Then they asked what was wrong and I couldn't stop crying so my boyfriend asked why they were here. And they explained they got a 911 call and heard yelling on the phone. I immediately stopped crying and ran inside the house of embarrassment and my boyfriend just said everything was fine then closed the door. Right after he closed the door he heard laughing from the police and now we know that they found out we were having sex. Okay so one time in 7th grade I spent the night at my boyfriend's house, and we were night swimming and I had to use the bathroom, and realized I started my period, I was literally just 13, and started a few months before, and never knew how to use a tampon so I was looking for one then I remembered he lived, with his grandma who had already went through menopause, so fc I don't find anything, but I needed something. So me being the stupid effing genius, I might went to the kitchen, and looked for a sponge, I found one it was new and clean by the way, but cut the scrubby green side off so I was just left with the yellow, anyway I went back to the bathroom, and shoved it up my cooch I went back and swam, I was gone for some time so I told him I took a shit, anyway we were done swimming, and I went to take a dish sponge out of my cooch, and it was so far up there I was crying. And once I finally took it out the inside of my coochie walls were literally so torn up it felt like Gordon Ramsay himself cut up some chicken anyway. I was in the shower crying bc I was in so much pain. One time when I was 13 I went to my best friend's house and she had just gotten a boyfriend but she told me she was afraid to kiss him because she had never kissed anyone before. I told her that she shouldn't worry about it and I'm sure that she'd do fine but I laid down on her bed and she asked me if we could make out as practice. I said that it was fine because I wanted to help her out but it was kind of awkward at first. Then she got on top of me and I thought it was going a little too far and she started humping me and then we heard footsteps so she got off but when nobody came in the door she got back on top of me. And we kept making out for an hour and a half. Okay so a couple years back my teenage sister was pregnant. Nobody knew at the time not even her. And so one day I was in my room just hanging out. And I heard a really loud scream coming from my sister's room. Naturally me and my family went upstairs to go check on her to make sure she's okay. And me and my mom walked into my sister's room. And there was blood all over her sheets. And my sister had. I wanna keep it family friendly so let's just say toy. Anyway there was a bloody toy in her hand and she kept screaming. Like it was a lot of blood my mom took her to the hospital cause she didn't know what else to do. And it turns out she accidentally gave herself an abortion with a toy.
So when Momo was relevant, I had this friend who was really scared of her, like if she saw a picture of Momo she would start crying, well one day we had this class art project and she chose me as her partner. When we were doing the project she started telling me that my drawing was really bad, and she erased my part of the project that I worked really hard on, when I got home I planned out a way to get back at her, so I printed out pictures of Momo and put them in her locker, the next day she came to school and opened her locker and started crying, she couldn't go in her locker for the rest of the day because she was so scared of the pictures, I recorded her reaction and put it on my Instagram and it got around 10,000 views and everyone at school made fun of her, she transferred schools about a year later, thanks for your submission, message me your stories. Hey guys, story time. When I was in kindergarten I was on the bus sitting next to this mean ass bitch I don't remember her name. There was a girl behind us and she kept saying her stomach hurted and that she needed to poop. So me and the girl I was sitting next to, we straight ignored that bitch. So time flew by on the bus and then I start smelling shit. Like literally disgusting smelling like dog shit ass poop. So I look under the seat and I see this big ass pile of diarrhea poop. That shit stunk. I couldn't help myself and I kept looking under the seat to look at the poop. The girl next to me kept telling me to stop looking at it. Like bitch if you don't shut your shut yo skin tone chicken bone google chrome no home flip phone disowned ice cream cone garden gnome extra chromosome metronome dimidome genome full blown monochrome student loan indiana jones overgrown flintstone x and y hormone friend zone sylvester stallone sierra leone auto zone professionally seen silver patron head ass the fuck up he'll beat your ass. Eventually some Someone came on the bus and picked up the poop. During the summer I was in a relationship with a kid named Jason. Things got carried away the first few weeks when his dad called my phone and asked me to come over and help him finish up his pool. Once I arrived at his house his dad welcomed me into the house but then told me Jason wasn't there. I was confused but decided to wait until Jason came home. His dad welcomed me to food, TV etc. His dad is smoking hot so I did whatever I had to to make him comfortable with me. Turns out he was more than comfortable with me. He called me up the room a few hours later and told me to be very quiet. I realized what was about to happen but I didn't care. I wanted him. He stripped me down to my kitty jar and I was so horny. A few weeks later I had to break up with Jason because I took a pregnancy test and it tested positive. In a few weeks I have to go check who the father is because if it's his dad's I'm moving to fucking Texas. So there's this one time I asked my mother why was you and daddy making all those noises and she told me how she was baking a cake so I wanted to bake a cake too so I asked my friend to come over so we can bake a cake and when she came she was confused. So we was just standing staring at each other naked next thing you know we just starting making moaning noises to bake the cake like my mom said and she walked in on us. So one time I was sending nudes to this one guy but instead of sending it to him I accidentally fucking sent the pictures to my sister's boyfriend this all happened on snap so I couldn't delete the pictures so I blocked him thinking that the pictures wouldn't sent but it did then a few minutes later I saw that he screenshot my pictures and he sent it to my sister then I told my sister that someone hacked my snapchat account and the girl pictures wasn't me but she knew it was me because I have a mole on my ass. 11 years old and my mom had just let me get snapchat i met this boy on there and thought he was cool cause he was four years older than me turns out we lived in the same neighborhood so he invited me over i told my parents i was going to the park when really i was going to see this boy i got to his house and we started playing video games i was having so much fun until suddenly he grabbed me brought me closer to him and started sucking on my neck i was so weirded out because i thought we were just going to hang out and i knew this wasn't normal he said he was giving me a hickey and i called him weird because i didn't know what a hickey was i pushed him away he asked me what was wrong and I said I don't want to do this. He grabbed my boob and I slapped him across the face because I was always taught self-defense. He slammed me on the couch and whipped out his pee-pee and I was mortified. He told me to suck on it and I decided to bite down on it hard and kicked him in the balls. He was in so much pain. I took this chance to get up off the couch and I bolted out of his fucking house and ran back home. When I returned home I was in tears and told my dad everything. He was terrified so he called the police. I got my phone taken away for six months. Moral of the story never meet up with strangers you meet online. When I was in sixth grade some girl used to tell me that she knew BTS and she was best friends with Jimin and Jungkook. She told me that she had a crush on Yoongi, but he liked me so she would have to kill me. I got scared so I stopped talking to her, but then she went around telling people that I was dating Namjoon and I cheated on him with Yoongi. She also said I was Taehyung's sister.
that Bang P D was my dad or that Jin was my stepbrother. She mailed letters to my house in red ink making the letters seem that they were from BTS and they were coming to my house to kill me. At this point I knew she was bullshitting, so after school I fought her and won because she wouldn't stop talking about me behind my back. We both got suspended for three days. The next day she proceeded to tell me that she didn't even know BTS and was only friends with me because I was Japanese and she wanted an Asian friend. Everyone started calling her a liar so she said she would move to Korea and find BTS so they could kill me, so I told One time I was over at my grandmother's and I clicked on a hentai video on YouTube. Now keep in mind I was literally like 6 and had no idea WTF it was at the time. So as I'm watching this girl get her back blown my grandmother walks in to ask what I want to eat and I change the screen quickly to avoid getting caught. She noticed and snatched my iPad asking what I was watching. Little did she know I deleted all of my search history so she couldn't see it. After questioning me for hours I told her it was a scary movie trailer and I showed her some random horror movie trailer on YouTube and she never suspected a thing lmao. When I was 8 years old, my parents separated and I was staying with my aunt for the summer. One day my dad picked me up and told me he was taking me home because they made up. He told me that we were going to move to a house next to my aunt. Anyways on the ride I begged him to drive me to the mall to buy a video game and he agreed. On the way he said he wasn't feeling very good and then a car came out of nowhere and crashed into us. To make a long story short my dad literally died in the front seat and I only had a few cuts. My mother stopped the move and was obviously devastated and cried every night for 6 months. The only reason she stopped is because she died too. Virgin self was very curious and wanted to know what sex was like. I didn't know anyone to have sex with so I just asked a random guy from my school. He said he was down so I went to his house. I had to jump out of my window at 3 a.m. because I have strict parents. I was scared but he didn't live far. He snuck me in and he looked like he knew what he was doing. We started making out for a few minutes. He finally whipped out his eggplant and when I tell you it was smaller than my pinky. I swear that shit was so tiny. I didn't know what to do because that thing was so small. He tried to stick it in but I didn't feel anything so I don't really know if he took my v-card or not. Not to go into detail or anything but it was pretty gross. He looked like he was enjoying it but I sure wasn't. I just wanted to go. I kept trying to fake moan but after he was done I left. So when I was younger I got in trouble a lot bc my parents fucking hated me and I didn't know why. But looking back at everything I had done in the past I understand everything now and don't care anymore lol. Anyways, when I was probably 7 or 8 I always would sneak out of my room at night to go pee or get food bc I was hungry or bored and I didn't have a phone then. So it eventually came to a point where I snuck out every night and my dad sat in the hallways at bedtime to make sure that I didn't sneak out. P.S. I was extremely scared of my dad back then lol. So now that my dad was sitting in the hallway at night making sure I didn't leave I still really had to pee and poop every night. I usually could hold in the pee but when you have to poop you gotta poop. So I would crawl under my bed and shit under my bed so I won't get in trouble for leaving my bed. One day my mom came in to talk to me and my sister BC we share a room and she smelled something. She eventually found the source to the horrible smell under my bed and there were like 10 different piles of shits and I got in very big trouble lol. When I was younger I had a sister who was like 2 and I was 6. She went missing one day and I was really sad and I cried so hard. Then my parents got a lot of money and we moved away from that place. We moved frequently as a kid and I didn't really question it. Then one day when I was 10 the police knocked on my door and arrested my dad and I was so confused. I lived with my grandparents for the next couple years and found out that my dad got arrested for human trafficking and child you know what slaves. I was shocked and then I put the pieces together and realized that the day my sister went missing my dad got a lot of money and we moved and then I realized my dad sold her into sex trafficking. I haven't heard from her since but I hope she's still out there. One time in ninth grade my science teacher was pregnant, and she had us all go out in the hall and filmed us power walking. It was like an inside joke in the class because we couldn't believe power walking was an actual Olympic sport lol. Anyways this one kid that all of us hate, let's call him Jeff. Jeff was walking really fast and bumped into our 8 month pregnant teacher really hard because there were like 20 kids walking past her and she fell down really hard. She got back up and there was blood coming out of the bottom of her dress. So she got rushed to the hospital and we found out that her baby died and she had to give stillbirth and it was her first child. She didn't come back to school for the rest of the year and apparently was depressed for like a whole year. I feel really bad for her lol. 